Hey there guys and welcome back to Uncharted Drake's Fortune. In the last part we went into this like ruined city and we we're exploring and Elena told us to like go find the tower. So we're trying to do that now but still these bloody pirates are in our way. So grenade! When in doubt, explosives. Crap. That was quite a miserable throw apparently. Come on, make it a good one this time. Yeah, that's a decent throw. And the guys keep throwing grenades back at me, stupid pirates. No one likes them. Okay, jump in. I'd say it's pretty safe to get over there now. I'll quickly find cover before we get shot to pieces again. There we go. How you like that? Although that was probably pretty pathetic throw come on crap and I'm hiding behind breakable cover that's not really the best place to be right now Drake you fool and our lack of long-range weapons is not really helping me out here either I should have kept the handgun instead of the freaking mini SMG thing. See so if I can kill that guy, I might be like in a better position. Wait, there's a gun there. But it's kind of risky trying to get to it. Oh crap, grenade. Okay, I have to move now. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Run over there. And beat the snot out of that guy. Yes, I will take your pistol. Crap, I forgot to pick up the pistol. It's not good. Oh, nuts. Run! Why do they keep throwing grenades? It only makes it harder on me. Okay, here we go. At least now we have a weapon. Alright, bring it on. Pirate piece it. Ooh, nice. Knocked him clean off his feet. And that guy is dead as well. Yes, ammo. And hey, a new micro SMG. And more ammo. Still think they should have made it so that you pick up the ammo automatically. I mean, having to press triangle over and over again really gets boring fast. Is there anything up here? There might... Hmm. Okay, I guess this might be the way to go, seeing as how the gate over there is- Oh, crap! Drake, be careful, dude! Okay, made it over there. Yeah, I can totally do this. Yeah. Hop over there. And... Okay, I guess that's where we need to climb over. Instead of going through the locked gate, we just climb over it. Because that's how we roll. There we go, problem solved. Okay, ah, oh, crap. Jeez, man, how many men does this Eddie guy have? He have like his own freaking personal army. Hell, he has more people at his side than the inhabitants of freaking Luxembourg. Yes, for those of you who don't know Luxembourg, it's a really freaking small country. Which is like close to my own. And it's like... One of the smallest countries in Europe. And I think it has like less than a million people who live there or something. Hell, I think even a million is overstating it. Maybe not even half a million. And then that deserves the status of country for some reason. I'd name it a freaking province. Like, hook it up to Belgium. Ah, yes, Belgium, our crazy southern neighbors. Oh, crap. Overpowered grenade launcher guy. Well, not if I can help it. And, yeah, I think I'm running low on ammo once again. Maybe it's not a good idea to bring two machine guns because they're known to run out of ammo pretty damn fast. And now I'm completely screwed. I don't have any grenades either. Wait, what's this? A shotgun... 
And a pistol that only has six shots. What am I supposed to do with that? I mean, how much havoc can I wreak with that? Oh, okay, it's a one-hit kill pistol. Well, that's a keeper. Come on out, you bastard. Did I get him? Come on. Now we're talking. I like this gun. It's only a shame it's pretty rare and there's hardly any ammo in it. And we can still pound pirates with it. Oh, sweet. AK. I want that AK. And it only has 30 bullets. So oh, come on. And I was just doing so well. Okay, here we go again. There's a shotgun guy there. Not anymore. Ooh, 50 kills, micro 9mm. Guess that's nice. Duck, and another trophy. Yeah, so I'm not really kind of indifferent about the whole trophy and achievement thing. I mean, sure, it's nice you can, like, show off to your friends, like, Oh, I did this and this. But I'm not really, like, going around actively collecting them. Like, sure, it's nice to get a few of them, but I'm not gonna do crazy shit like, uh... Like when I had Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe on Xbox 360. They had, like, achievements for beating all of the, uh... What you might call it, uh, combo training things. Where you have to do like insanely diff insanely difficult combos over and over again to like get all combos completed and then you get like an achievement for it. And I was like, yeah. Fuck that. I didn't like that Mortal Kombat game that much anyway. Oh crap. Okay. Careful now. Don't wanna die again. Just need to get one good shot in at that guy with the grenade launcher or whatever the hell kind of weapon that is. It's more like a bazooka. Anyway, he's dead now, so no need to worry about that anymore. Come on. There we go. Oh crap, only one shot left. Gotta make it count. And I think the road's all clear. Okay. Or maybe not. No. Yep, it's not. There's still like a guy way over there in the distance. Wow, did I actually hit him with my AK? Nice. Guess this thing isn't that bad at long range after all. Oh crap, now there's two. And once again my health is really running out. Nate, you should really wear like bulletproof armor underneath that shirt. I mean, come on, you have to take precautions, man. If you come ill-prepared, you'll pretty much always get killed. On stuff like this. And if you come in-prepared for, like, exams in school, you will get killed by your parents when you bring home your report card. I know, because that's pretty much always how it went at my house. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's see. Maybe can I use the grenade launcher for something? Nah. I think I'm good without it. Blew that guy's head off. Oh, nice. Got him good. Will I take this thing? No. I will not bother. Oh, crap. Maybe I should have. Although shotgun guy really isn't much of a challenge. Come on. There we go. Might want to take cover now. Come on, I want that ammo. You know, I've been noticing lately that with this game, it just seems to be a whole lot of enemy after enemy after enemy. Pretty much slowing the game down incredibly. I thought I saw something shiny. Oh, there was something shiny. Treasure. What did we get? A golden fish charm. Wow. That'll be worth five bucks at the local garage sale, I guess. I mean, who knows, maybe if Nate ever makes it back home, he can sell all that junk he found. And yeah, you can beat up people with little fishermen's hats. 
I mean, damn, he's a freaking pugilist. He should be like an MMA fighter. Yeah, I can totally see him like WWE vs. SmackDown 2012, now guest starring Nathan Drake on PlayStation 3. Also, what the hell? Oh, okay, we had to do that. Also, guest starring Kratos. Yeah, but Kratos will pretty much kill all the, like, WWE guys. Without them even standing a chance. Alright then. Well, at least we're making progress. No more enemies to be seen around here. Let's hop onto these rocks and climb to the top of the tower. Sure is convenient how all these things are within, like, jumping distance of each other. Let's see, go up here. And only barely make the jump. Yes, another one. I guess there might have, like, been a floor here sometime, a long time ago. But it seems to have gone away, like, eroded off or something, and just conveniently left the piece with the lever on it hanging onto the wall. What a convenience. Okay, we're hanging now, what do we do? Uh, the camera angle's not really working out for me either. Let's see, we jump to that, and then I guess we swing to that. And then, uh... Yeah, I don't know, really. It doesn't seem to be making a... Never mind. Sweet, now we have to climb all the way freaking up there again. Or, could we perhaps... I don't think we've gone this way before. Maybe this will take us there. Okay, a little rock. Yeah, actually, I think this is the way we're supposed to go. I think the lever was, like, preventing us from jumping to that, but we can easily make it from here. And why can't we, like, hold on to the beam? I have no clue. But it doesn't matter, we're getting up here anyway. And there's always enemies. Like, how the hell did they get up here? Can they climb just as well as Drake can? I don't know. It's possible. But uh, now I just want him to rear his ugly mug so I can pump it full of lead. Yeah. Do I want the 9mm? I don't think. Yeah, looking in hindsight, I probably should have gone with the 9mm because it's a more versatile gun than the little micro SMG we have now. I mean, the 9mm is actually pretty good for taking out long range targets. But yeah, I didn't really know that when I was first recording this, because it is, after all, my first playthrough, because most of my games tend to be... Except for, like, the games that I've had since I was a kid. Eh, yeah, screw it, we'll... Yeah, we'll go with this. Or we'll go with the 9mm anyway. I'm so indecisive. Oh wait, it's locked. Okay, I guess we need to pop a lock first. Stand back! <laughs> Alright. Let's find a way to the harbor and hope the boat's still there. That boat had better be there, otherwise we'll be pretty screwed. So yeah, chapter 10, the customs house. I think there's like a total of 21, 22 chapters. I know it's been like a few weeks since I recorded the last video. So, hey, cutscene. These must be all the old ship manifests. <laughs> Still seem to be in good shape. <sighs> hey, check this out. This looks right. The Esperanza sailed from Cayo, Peru, carrying 800 bars of gold, 1,200 silver emeralds, golden masks, ornaments. Whoa, reading 16th century Spanish? Not just a grave robber after all, huh? Right here. Gold statue. Weight, 20 arrobas. That's over 500 pounds. That's got to be it. Wow. There you are. That thing kind of gives me the creeps. Huh. That's the last entry. That somebody special? What? Oh. Uh, yeah. I guess you could say that. Huh. 
I had you pegged as more of a woman in every port kind of guy. <laughs> Don't I wish? No, this was uh, this was Francis Drake's ring. I, you know, kind of inherited it. Sick parvis magna. Greatness from small beginnings. It was his motto. Check out the date. 29th of January, 1596. One day after he supposedly died. Wait, what are these numbers right here? Coordinates, right off the coast of Panama. Oh, so that's how you found the coffin. Yeah, that's right. See, Drake left this as a clue to pinpoint the exact burial site. For someone clever enough to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, nice try. But we're still going for that boat. Yeah, I'm afraid this is as close as we're getting to El Dorado. Aw oh, man, you're still thinking about giving up this epic quest? Oh well, we'll continue this in the next part of Uncharted Drake's Fortune.